Well, we're in about 40 feet of water, and uh, and so the crab trap has some salmon in it, and the crab can get in, but they, they can't get out. Come on, big money! Oh, baby, baby! Oh my God! It's not empty. Exactly. <laughs> this is for winter. Okay. Look at that red rock right on top. So a totally different species. Really yeah, he looks. The rest different. are Dungeness. <laughs> yeah, she's a monkey. Uh, Wait, she loves it here. Feet of water in here at its okay. deepest. Oh, really? Yeah, it's probably six feet deep right now. And we're okay to swim here? Absolutely. To celebrate this amazing place, I'm going to prepare my favourite crab pasta. First of all, I've left the crab in the freezer overnight to humanely kill it. And that enables me to crack the shell and prepare the meat. You just pull the claws completely out. Now, with these crabs in Canada, there's no meat in there, so you can just dash that away. So, what you've got to do is we've just got to wash that now. So, just... And then all you're left with, you want to get rid of the gills, so you just get rid of those. And then, I'm going to just drop this lot on ice. Okay, so that's the crabs done. They're on ice. Um, sun's going down, so I'm going to prep these up. And then I'm going to show you how to make this pasta. We're going to get these crab off. Uh, I need some salted boiling water and then I'm going to drop these crabs in. Cook them for about four minutes. Then they need to be drained and then they need to be refreshed in some cold water. Now the crab shell, it's not as hard as you think it would be. You've got these bits that were connected to the body. It's very easy just to put your thumb in and pull those bits out. White meat, oh, it tastes sweet and incredible. Meaty, but it's like really clean. It's like sea clean. It's just, just really beautiful. White, fresh, zingy crab meat. And then the crab shell itself, it's not actually that hard. It's not like Devon crab, brown crab. You can break into it with your hands. It's really easy and you can just like prise that apart and then pull it out. 
What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the heel of this knife and I'm going to whack it down on the crab shell and crack it this side and then I'm going to whack it that side and crack it and then you should be able to just pull it straight out. Right, now to do this pasta dish we're just going to keep it super, super simple. You want some red chilies, you want some shallots and some garlic. I'm going to put some parsley in there and a squeeze of lemon to finish and some people will say it's illegal to put the parmesan in there but like I say it needs it baby. So I'm going to puree the garlic and I'm going to finally slice the shallots. Then finally slice the red chilli, pour some olive oil into your frying pan and start frying your shallots. Cook them for a couple of minutes and then add your garlic and your chilli. And now add your crab and cook for a further two or three minutes. Then quickly razzle through some parsley. Add a knob of butter to the party and then your parsley. Okay, once you've cooked all that crab and it's infused with all those flavours and it's come up to temperature, take it off. Try and get your spaghetti into the hot water. Once the spaghetti's done, let's drain it but keep some of that water. Add the pasta water to the spaghetti and season. dish is to die for so good and especially in this location pulled out fresh out of the water yesterday oh, right if you're loving these new films then increase the peace by spreading the love and subscribing to the channel like share hit the bell icon if you want to get notifications of new vids that are coming up oh, love it here see you later people Put a link to Dan's incredible floating log cabin in the description box below. And watch out because over the next eight weeks, I've got the most awesome bunch of videos coming at you from Canada.